Hello and welcome. Today we'll learn about linear regression, our first machine learning model. What is a model? I know what you're thinking, but that's not the kind of model we generally refer to in data science. A model is basically a mathematical representation of a real world process in the form of input output relationship. Something like this. Slices of pizza I'll eat, my output, will be determined by hours since my last meal, which is input. That means, if it is 2 hours since my last meal, I can eat 5 slices of pizza. Even though it is useless, this is an example of simple model. But why should someone make models? Not only models help us understand the nature of the process being modeled, they also enable us to predict the output based on the input features. And the ability to predict the unknown has great economic value. Let's look at an example. This is size of a house and this is corresponding price of that house. These are observations for individual houses, also known as training examples. Now, we want to know price of a new house, which will be output of our model based on its size, which is input. To start looking for a simple and yet effective model for this problem, our first stop would be linear regression. Can't believe this is the same problem. It looks good on graph. So on x-axis, we have our input, size of house, and on y-axis, the output, its price. Any linear relationship between two variables can be represented as a straight line, whose equation can be written as y equals a0 plus a1x, where y is output or target, which is price of house in our case, and x is input or feature, which is size of house, and a0 and a1 are model parameters. But what if there are more than one feature? Any general linear equation with multiple features can be written as y equals a0 plus a1x1 plus a2x2 and so on up to anxn, where xi's that are x1, x2 till xn are features, ai's that is a0, a1 and so on till an are model parameters and y is target variable. As per our linear regression model, we need to fit a straight line to it with equation y equals a0 plus a1x1 and depending on values of a0 and a1 we can have many possibilities which look promising. We need to settle the case on a value of parameters a0 and a1 corresponding to which straight line fits best to the data. For this we need to agree on a metric to judge best fit and we can choose that straight line which performs best on that metric. First function to the rescue. Let's suppose we have M training examples or observations and this is the first one. This is our model. From this we know that this is actual price of first example and this is price of first example as predicted by model which falls on our straight line for that size. Let's call this difference as error term E which is like y actual minus y predicted. Since it is for first example let's call it even. For ith example we define error term as ei equals y predicted minus y actual. Now as you might have understood, ei can be positive or negative depending on whether y actual is more or y predicted. We will square eis to make it positive so the order doesn't matter. Cost function will be defined as 1 by 2m, even square plus e2 square and so on till em square, where m is the number of examples and eis are error terms. We can also write it as 1 by 2m summation of y predicted minus y actual square. We just expanded eis to y predicted minus y actual. We can also write it as 1 by 2m summation of a0 plus a1x1 minus y actual square. We just expanded y predicted which is a0 plus a1x1 as per our model. Clearly, cos function j is a function of parameter space a0 and a1. I think you would have guessed it by now. The best fitting model would be the one which minimizes our error metric which is cost function. Such a straight line will be the best linear approximation of the linear relationship between house price and size of the house. Another interpretation of cost function can be the measure of distance of our model from data points. Lesser the distance, better is our model. Now, we just need to minimize cost function but how to do that? We have established the fact that all the straight lines are just different combination of model parameters A0 and A1. 
and cost function is a function of parameter space as well. Therefore, by changing A0 and A1, we can change the cost function. We will keep changing A0 and A1 till we find a combination where cost function is minimized. And for this, we will take help of gradient descent algorithm. Let's just forget cost function for some time. Assume a function, any regular function j equals f of a. This curve of j represents the values j will assume for different values of a. Indeed, that is what makes it a function of a. We are at this point now, a1 and f of a1. And we want to reach here. We want to know for what value of a, a function will assume minimum. How can we reach minimum starting from a1? Let's calculate slope at this point, a1, f of a1. It is dj by dA at a1 or f dash a1. Don't worry if you don't understand dj by dA, you can interpret it as a slope at that point. Let's move a step alpha in that direction to reach a1 minus alpha times f dash a1. Alpha is a small fixed quantity in the range of 0 0.01, therefore the size of our steps is dependent on the slope f dash a1. Higher the value of slope, which occurs away from minima, larger the steps and vice versa. As we move closer to the minima, the slope decreases and hence our step toward the minimum keeps on getting smaller. At minimum, slope becomes zero. These iteration of gradient descent algorithm can run in thousands or tens of thousands depending on nature of function, our learning rate and of course where we start from, even in this case. We will use the same methodology to minimize cost function, which is a function of model parameters A0 and A1, by changing them through iteration of gradient descent algorithm. This is the part where it can get too mathematical for some people, but don't worry if you don't get it completely, you'll be working just fine without it as well. Step 1 in gradient descent algorithm would be to calculate slope with respect to both parameters separately at the current or initial value of parameters A0 and A1. Next, we need to take the step alpha and update the new parameters as follows. Third step would be to update the cost function with new a0 and a1 and then repeat the step 1. These iterations should be run thousands of times. We can easily scale this for multiple features. As you know, our equation of linear regression for multiple features is y equals a0 plus a1x1 plus a2x2 and so on till a n x n. We just have to update all the model parameters by calculating slope and then implementing gradient descent steps for every parameter simultaneously. Understanding theory behind cost function and gradient descent algorithm was essential. But as we shall see, we can train linear regression model with just few lines of code in Python. These are inbuilt packages which implement all of this in an optimized way so that we don't have to worry about all the maths behind it. One important thing to understand about gradient descent is the learning rate alpha. We know that step taken towards the minima was alpha times f dash a1. So as we increase learning rate, we will take larger step towards minima and hence we will reach minimum early. This will make our algorithm fast, right? Let's suppose we set alpha to 100 and we reach here in a step from A1 by setting alpha to 100. Can you guess what can potentially happen in the next iteration? It will fail to converge to minimum and will keep on oscillating around minimum but can never converge even in a billion iteration. So what is the solution? Keep alpha smart. Its value is kept around 0.01 so that it neither makes gradient descent too slow nor does it fail to converge. Learning rate alpha is hyperparameter for this model. Even though it doesn't directly affect model like parameters A1, A0 and A1 do, but it can impact performance of our model and we need to be cautious about choosing model hyperparameters. That's all about linear regression. Congrats on understanding your first ML model. Please like this video if you found it useful and if you have any doubt, please raise them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.